and Dan Carpenter looks set now to kick it away. What is going on guys, EXP here and today we will be reviewing Madden 15. As always my review will be broken down into 6 different parts, gameplay, graphics, sound, innovation, lifespan, and a final score at the end with some final thoughts. So right away let's get into gameplay. Madden has always had great gameplay but they have taken it a step further in this one. The controls are smooth and easy to use and the player you're controlling's reaction are insanely fast to what you're doing. Also the amount of customization is insane. Whether you want to use your favorite team's offensive playbook and ultimate team or change a receiver's route right before the ball snaps or even create your own Madden character you can do it and you will have fun while you do it. But let's take a step backwards and look at the tutorial section of the game or skills trainer as they call it. If you know nothing about Madden or football as a sport, this will fix that. They did an excellent job of covering basic controls all the way to advanced controls on both offense and defense. And they even have a section so you can learn how to identify play types and what you need to do to counter them. But that is not all. This section also has a really cool challenge mode called the gauntlet, which will truly test your skills as a player and have you trying to beat your friends high scores or even your own high scores. It's actually a ton of fun. So now that you've ran through Skills Trainer and you know everything that there is to know, what do you do now? Well this is where the game really opens up and turns into a ton of fun. You can either play against the computer using your favorite team, go head to head in online matches with real NFL teams, or my personal favorite, open up Ultimate Team and create and build your very own team of players. In Ultimate Team you can either play solo challenges against the computer or you can take your team and play against other players teams online in a head to head match. Either way you're going to earn coins to open player packs to try and build your team to be the very best it can be. But let's move on to what really makes this game shine which is graphics. The graphics in this game are outstanding. Each player looks exactly like the player that they represent going as far as to have similar tattoos. The attention to detail is amazing. If you watch the NFL on TV you will recognize players without the game even having to tell you who it is which I think is really awesome. So the player graphics are great and all, but what about the rest of the game? The rest of the game is actually done just as well. You feel like you're watching the game on TV because all the transitions and camera angles are the exact same as they are on TV. Even having the pop up showing who is on defense and who is on offense. We can also skip these little interruptions just by pressing A so it doesn't really stop the gameplay if you don't want it to. The only thing I would have to complain about graphics wise is that it does skip a few frames every now and then when coming back from transitions. However this is like so minimal that I wasn't even going to mention it and you probably wouldn't have even noticed it. But now you're going to notice it because you watch this video so you're welcome. So I have to give EA a huge thumbs up on the graphics, everything just looks beautiful, the stadium looks awesome, even the grass looks beautiful. So let's move on to sound. So what Madden is going for is to make it sound like you are in the stadium and they did just that. Using my Astros while playing was an absolute treat, everything from the fans cheering to the stadium's music sounds just like you are standing right in the middle of the field. If you have been to a football game before, you will remember the sound and how loud everything is and this will definitely take you back to that day. Of course what we all love the most about football are the big hits and if you have a headset on you can just feel it. Your controller vibrates, you see the hit and you can just hear it. Which is just awesome and it will have you cringing if someone important on your team gets hit really hard. The soundtrack is also good, while there are no big name songs or anything like that it does have a good feeling to it but it's definitely not the main focus while playing which makes sense but the menu music is actually really epic. So let's talk about the innovation that Madden 15 brings to the table. Well first I have to bring up the graphics difference between this one and the last one. The last Madden had great graphics and everyone was really impressed but this one just goes above and beyond what I even thought was possible on consoles. Things look so real, shadows are being casted, the grass looks amazing, players tattoos are there, reflections in the eye protection. If you take notice you will be so surprised about how detailed this game is. Then the tutorial or skills trainer that I have to bring up again. I always have enjoyed football and had fun playing Madden games before this, but all I did was enjoy it before and now that I know like all this different stuff like the difference between a cover 2 defense and a cover 2 man defense and everything else that I learned in the football concepts, I'm able to understand it and that just allows me to enjoy the game so much more. They have also added a ton of new game mechanics that allow you to take control of your team so much better, 
like adding the defensive camera angle, being able to lock on the players, and tackling range meter, just to mention a few. Now let's go on to lifespan. How long will this game last before you get bored of it, or it gets outdated? Well, lifespan for this game is hard to rate because a new one does come out every single year, so it will get outdated when the next one comes out. But unlike some of the other games that are on a yearly cycle, I don't think you're going to get bored of this one at the end of the year. I think that this one could actually last a couple years before you actually got bored of playing it because there's so much to it and so much collectibles and everything that there's always something to do. Ultimate Team alone has 379 single player challenges. 379. That is an insane number. Not only that, but then you have the Ultimate Team Seasons where you play against opponents online. Then you also have packs that you need to collect so you can build up your team, which will take you quite a bit of time to get the very best team. Then you also have badges and collectibles where you get legendary players from the past like Michael Irving or William Perry. Then not only all of that, but you also have the franchise mode where you create your very own team and play as the owner, coach, and players. If you guys get this game, whether or not you enjoy football, I think you will have a great time playing. And I don't think you will run out of things to do anytime soon. But for the moment of truth, my final score for this game is going to be a 9.5 out of 10. This game was so close to being a perfect 10 out of 10, but I think the only thing holding it back from the last bit of score was that the loading screens were pretty long and there were some minor glitches while playing once in a while. But like I said, I would definitely recommend picking this up if you were considering it even a little bit. You will not be disappointed with the quality or the amount of fun you will have playing it. And if you guys do pick this up, let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Do you agree or disagree with my review? Also remember to leave this video a thumbs up, it really does help me out guys. And I will see you guys in the next one.